hello and in this video I'll be going through what I've collected so far for this this year's match tax all right so first page we have Aston Villa I managed to complete this and get a crystal parallel which is nice I like the crystal parallels and how they look really nice as well as like the captain card as well and I'm missing the badge and I think a base card for this collection I've got one crystal, two crystal parallels one two over here so still missing those two completed arsenal and I've got three crystal parallels this one, this one, and this one. Then we have Manchester United, and I've managed to get two crystal parallels for this, and I've also completed it. Feels strange when there's no goalkeeper over there, but. Then we move on to Newcastle, and one crystal parallel. And Newcastle's completed as well. Liverpool up next. Um, I've got one, two, three, four crystal parallels. However, it's not a complete team because I did hit two of these Henderson crystal parallels, which is no longer the captain of Liverpool. Anyway, I don't have the base variant of that card. I just got two crystal parallels. So, yeah, I'm just missing that card. And then Liverpool will be complete. West Ham. Another team that's complete. Then we have Barcelona. Almost complete. Just missing this one here. Real Madrid. Missing two. From this page. Then we got Atletico Madrid, missing one. Still got quite a bit to collect, missing one again for this this team. And yeah, just the goalkeeper that's missing for me, Bayern Munich. This is one of the very first teams I completed, Dortmund. So I got the full set of these. Then we have two different teams and filled in both of them and I've got this cool crystal parallel badges the badges look, look a lot better than just like a base card the foil effect gives it a nice look anyway move on moving on missing one for this team complete both of these complete this one still missing two for that one Almost complete. I just need the badge, and this one's complete. Complete this one. I haven't completed this one because I've only got the badge as a crystal parallel. Nothing else. I just I'm missing the badge for that. It looks complete, but it's not. So I'm just missing that badge. Um, both of these teams are complete. As well as both of these, all complete. As well as these, and these are the last base cards. Moving on to the next gen, uh, missing two, so almost there. Yeah, just missing two, which is cool. So not that much, but I keep getting loads of duplicates of the same ones. So I've got like five or six of these two because of the first edition. Um, there were the holographic worlds in there, so I'm getting loads more of them. Moving on to the Man of the Match signature, signature style, missing three here, so coming on, along nicely. There is a lot of these to collect, and I've done done all right actually. And then last page of Man of the Match signature style. Uh, missing another two, so missing five in total, I think. So two there, and uh, yeah, so five. Then cold heroes, just missing these two. 
and then I'll have this complete set and then legendary moments completed that then we move on to the heritage which are really nice very very vibrant in colors yeah so missing quite a few of these I think not or not many I'm missing two on this page two three four five and six so I'm missing six in total which isn't bad so back to the first page then we've got the next two pages we have the last few heritage and then we have the tactic cards which are also holographic ring of foil and I kept this card because it looked cool so got all of these then we move on to the hundred clubs I'm just missing two of these and I've done um, a double page for the 100 club, so if I get a spare, they'll be slotted in there. So I've got duplicates of these. Anyway, moving on, we've got the black edge. I do have two of these, but all the others I have one of. So black edge. Really like the new changes, especially the, um, the um, gold at the front here. Really nice touch. Then we have the chrome shields, and I've got quite lucky on these. I've got um, seven, I think. So I've got three here, three here, four, five, six. So I've got six actually. I do have a seven, but one of them is a duplicate. I've got lucky, and I got an energy card. And I've got lucky and unlucky because I've got a duplicate of it. So there's that. And I did manage to get another energy card. For the energy cards, if you man if you're lucky and get them in a mini tin, they are loosely. So you have the thick pack cards and then behind that Obviously, if you're lucky enough, you'll get a relic. If you don't, you can get one of these energy cards. If you're shaking the tins in here, light rattling, it's probably one of these energy cards. So I managed to pack that from a tin, which mini tin, which is amazing. Then we have the Stadium Stars. Stadium Star, limited edition. These are found in the Megaton. So obviously, these four are in Megaton 1, Megaton 2, and so on. The next few stadium stars. Awesome. And I got two of my duplicate golders cards. Not for trade or sale, but just keeping them. So it looks nice as all limited editions. And then we have the limited editions. I'm missing two for this page. So I like this. It does feel random, so... Maybe that w would have been LE1 and then these two would have been better, I don't know, but anyway, I'm missing two here, three, four, and five. So I'm only mi I'm missing five gold limited editions. And then that's the limited editions that are complete. Um yeah, and then we got limited edition number twenty what's what to say, twenty-nine? Can't read. 28, 28, that's 29, that's exclusive to Sainsbury's, and uh, then I think 30 is exclusive to Argus in a box, and then I just got two of these, don't know why, and uh, space here, and then we have um, the mini tin limited editions, tin 1, found in tin 2, found in tin 3, found in tin 4, and then in one of the mini tins, I got this card, Looks pretty normal from the back and stuff, but yeah, turn it around and how is that? So yeah, I'll put, I'll put that there. Definitely keeping that again, not for sale or trade. Then I've got a spare for page for the Christmas cards and like update cards, limited editions, and Christmas limited editions. And then we're moving on to the gold dust. So these are all the gold dust cards I've managed to get. And obviously I've hit two duplicates of these two. 
so which is shown earlier in the binder anyway it's got the gold dust and then I have the codes at the back of each one and then we move on to the first edition so obviously first edition I have these little one badge so I've collected all of these for the first edition did I skip a page no I didn't there we go first edition it's quite a lot and then we got the holographic I mixed the mirrorfalls with the base cards so like there some mirrorfalls are in the base cards then we got the rest of the holographic foils I am missing one and there's two spare pages two spare um spaces and then that's the current shield I was saying that I have a duplicate of so none of my shields are refractors or anything then we have all this space and we have this and that's it well hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be opening more products and there'll be another binder review soon hopefully I'll be, I get more cards um, and fill this in a bit more but I'm almost getting there almost at the end anyway hope you enjoyed the video more on the more on the way and bye